phonetics what is phonetics what are the different sounds of english and what is transcription before we go into the details let us establish the need to learn phonetics look at the first word elephant the e letter is repeated twice the first one is pronounced a and the second one is pronounced e elephant look at the next pair of words c o u g h and b o u g h the first one is pronounced cough while the second one is pronounced bow look at the next four words station sugar fish machine all the four words have got the sound sh but they are represented by different letters the first one is ti the second one is s the third one is sh and the fourth one is ch look at the next three words n o is pronounced no k n o w has the same pronunciation no but when you remove k from k n o w n o w becomes now look at the next two words o f has f in the spelling but in pronunciation it is ov f is silent look at the next word it is pronounced lieutenant we do not have an f in the spelling look at the next two words they are pronounced exactly the same way but they are so different in their spelling colonel the first colonel is an army officer whereas the second one is an edible part of a nut look at the last two words come and epitome the final e is silent in come whereas it is realized as e in epitome i can give you innumerable examples to show that english is written in one way and pronounced in another way so why do we learn phonetics to bridge the gulf between spelling and pronunciation in many languages it is written in one way and pronounced in the same way but in english it is not so to speak english confidently in a global context english has become a worldwide language and hence in order to speak english fluently and confidently we need phonetics and finally to understand english spoken by others and to be understood so phonetics is relevant because of the disconnect between spelling and pronunciation because of the disconnect between the letters of the alphabet and the sounds we have 26 letters of the english alphabet whereas we have 44 sounds let us read the sentence and went to the departmental store to buy a loaf of bread a cake of soap a can of mineral water a packet of wafers and buns and some meat let us look at the way in which the letter a is pronounced a is a in an departmental you have again two different sounds a loaf again another way bread a is silent a cake of soap a can of mineral water a packet of wafers and buns and some meat so what is 
phonetics. Phonetics is derived from the Greek word phone meaning sound or voice. It is a branch of linguistics that comprises the study of the sounds of human speech. Let us distinguish it from phonology. Phonology is a branch of linguistics concerned with the systematic organization of sounds in languages. While phonetics deals with the physical production, acoustic transmission and reception of sounds, phonology deals with the way in which sounds function in and across languages to encode meaning. For many linguists, phonetics is descriptive linguistics while phonology is theoretical linguistics. In fact, both overlap at some point of time. Let us see what is phonetic transcription. Phonetic transcription of phonetic script of phonetic notation is the visual representation of speech sounds. The most common type of phonetic transcription uses a phonetic alphabet such as the International Phonetic Alphabet or IPA. What is IPA? IPA is an alphabetic system of phonetic notation based primarily on the Latin alphabet. It was devised by the International Phonetic Association as a standardized representation of the sounds of oral language. Let us see what is Standard English. Standard English refers to whatever form of the English language that is accepted as a national norm in any English speaking country. It encompasses grammar, vocabulary and spelling. In the British Isles, particularly in England and Wales, it is often associated with received pronunciation. So what is received pronunciation? It is the standard accent of English as spoken in the south of England. There was a time when Britain ruled 75% of the earth. British English became World English. With America emerging as a superpower, we have American English gradually displacing British English. With English growing and developing in the colonies, we have different varieties of English, say Indian English, Arab English, Australian English, Chinese English and so on. However, Across the world, British English is still the norm. Many dictionaries give you an alternate US pronunciation also. Let us look at the following words. Let us look at the six different pronunciations of the letter A. An National Ample Apple Abstract, hat. The next set of words, above, approve, allow, adapt. The next set, watch, wasp, halt, wander. The next one, call, saw, warn, mall. All. The next one. After, mask, bask, answer, dance. And finally, any and many. So the first A is pronounced A. The second one, A. The third one, O. The fourth one, O. The fifth one, A. And the sixth one, A. Let us see the different pronunciations of E. Meet, evade, scent, label. The first one is E. 
the second one is e the third one a and the fourth one a let us look at the different pronunciations of o row nod collapse ornament cow o o a o and ow let us look at the pronunciation of u butter full rule hurt humor first one is a second one u third one u fourth one a and fifth one u and the last one hill mirth and light e a and i let us see what is a phoneme a phoneme is a basic unit of a language's phonology which is combined with other phonemes to form meaningful units or morphemes for example d familiarize d is a morpheme familiarize is a morpheme is is a morpheme they are made up of phonemes so a phoneme can be defined as the smallest contrastive linguistic unit which may bring about a change of meaning let us take the example of bit and pit the difference between the two words is b and p which brings about a change of meaning we have 44 phonemes in english 20 vowel sounds and 24 consonant sounds which are the vowels in english a e i o u five vowel sounds F five vowels whereas we have 20 vowel sounds out of the 20 vowel sounds 12 are pure vowels or monophthongs and 8 are diphthongs or vowel glides let's see what are monophthongs and diphthongs monophthongs or pure vowels are single vowels they are 12 in number let's learn them in pairs the first pair is e e e as in kit bit him minute women e as in fleece see machine knees received next pair u and u u as in foot good put could u as in goose to blue group food rule root through and so on next pair is o and o o as in lot odd wash bottle long o as in thought law north war call and so on now you have single vowels a as in dress bed head many egg a as in trap bad sat match ladder a as in strut mud love blood a as in start father arm bomb now the last two vowels a and a a as in about common standard meter a as in nurse stir learn bird hurt journey world let us now see what are diphthongs we have seen the pure vowels now diphthongs are combinations of two sounds two pure vowels a and e 
come together to form I. They are divided into three groups. The first group ends in E as in I, A, OI. I as in price, high, try, island, rhyme. A as in face, day, break, claim. OI as in choice, boy, oyster, noise. Now the next group ends in a. Ear, air and ear. Ear as in near, hear, weary, fierce, appear, tear. And air as in square, fair, various, tear. In various you have two vowel sounds. The first one is air and the second one is ear. Various. And the last one is ear. Poor, jewelry, cure and tour. Now the next diphthongs end in u. O and ow. O as in goat, show, no, mold, bone, toe. And ow as in mouth, now, bow. So we have seen all the vowel sounds. 12 pure vowels and 8 diphthongs of English. Now let us move on to consonants. We have 21 consonant letters but 24 consonant sounds. Some consonants are repetitious. For example, C and S in the letter C's. C E A S E. The next one C and K as in crack. Some consonant sounds are not represented by letters. Example the ng sound is represented by two letters N and G. Some letters are combinations. For example X which is a combination of K and S and Q which is a combination of K and W were. So let us see which are the consonant sounds of English. Many consonants appear in pairs. Each pair is produced in the same place of the mouth with the tongue in the same position. For example, P and B. Both P and B are pronounced by putting your lips close together. The first one is pronounced from the mouth whereas the second one from the throat. So P is voiceless and B is voiced. Let us examine these consonants in pairs. P as in pin, sprain, aspiration. B as in bin, club, butter. The next pair. T and D. T comes from the mouth and D from the throat. T as in T, tight, button, scent, tooth. D as in day, ladder, odd, deed, adapt, drown. The next pair is K and G. K is voiceless, it comes from the mouth and G comes from the throat. Key, clock, school, king, cake, character, that is the K sound. Next, G as in get, giggle, gift, jargon, target. The next pair is CH and J. CH is voiceless, J is voiced. CH as in church, match, chunk, nature, question. J as in judge, soldier, bridge, 
Jam, Jem, suggest. The next pair is F and V. F is voiceless, V is voiced. F as in fat, coffee, rough, photo. V as in view, heavy, move, vain, wine and vanish. The next is F and V. We do not have an equivalent in Malayalam but in Arabic we have Th and Th. They are pronounced by putting your tongue outside. Thing, author, path, thin, thick, method, authority. Next is the as in this, other, smooth, mother, rhythm, bother. The next pair is sir and the. Sir as in soon, sees, sister, sun, rice, cinema, assess. The as in zero, music, roses, buzz, zoo, zebra, rice, wise, nose, seeds. The next pair is sh and zh. Sh as in ship, sure, national, shine, machine, sugar, mission. Zh as in pleasure, vision, leisure, usual, beige. Zh is normally difficult for us because in Malayalam we don't have the sound zh. Now you have consonants which do not appear in pairs. H as in hot, whole, ahead, heat, humor. M as in more, hammer, among, common, numb. N as in nice, funny, innocence, can, knowledge. Ng as in ring, anger, fangs, angle, uncle, spring. L as in light, valley, feel, pollute, pulse. R as in right, wrong, sorry, arrange, crane, arrest. Y as in yet, use, Beauty, few, university, euro. And finally, were. Wet, one, when, queen, what, woe, twinkle, wife. Were is pronounced with a rounded lips and it should not be confused with were which is produced with the tongue, with the lips. Let us look at the transcription of words. Table Center Tobacco Meeting University Campaign Plumber, pollute, jackal, bridge, summer, appointment, innocence, anonymous, examination, mathematics. Now let's try to find the word when the word when the transcription is given. Magnificent Ignorance Adversity Horizon Tummy 
government celebrity anthropology posture vision construction blood now let's come to transcription of sentences Salim is going to the market it's transcribed as Salim is going to the market we are planning to go on a world tour we are planning to go on a world tour the final exams commence in the second week of august we have the transcription the final exams commence in the second week of august people like her for her simplicity people like her for her simplicity your dress is awesome your dress is awesome some of the lectures were good but some were hopelessly boring some of the lectures were good but some were hopelessly boring so we have seen the transcription of sentences so in this presentation i have introduced you to phonetics we have also seen which are the sounds in english we have 44 sounds in english out of which 20 are vowel sounds and 24 are consonant sounds we have also seen which are the 12 pure vowels and which are the diphthongs we have also seen which are the consonant sounds we have also tried to transcribe words and sentences i hope you enjoyed the session thank you